Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello and welcome to Rahman Digital Production. Ladies and gentlemen, this is mathematics and this is lecture number 68. Today we are going to take our lectures in digital form and we are transforming from that analog type of lecture taking uh, let us start question number 13 of 10 a and that is the last question of this uh, this is the last question of this uh, exercise I exactly copied this figure from the book and you can see that on the screen that different angles are given but here you have to remember that a b lines and c d lines are parallel to each other they are very important piece of information so you have to keep that in mind as well while solving this question ladies and gentlemen in the first part of question number 13 they want us to find the value of x and y so if we are giving a very closer look to the question then we will be able to understand that where we can find only the variable x so if we are giving the uh, look to this area this one and this they are vertically opposite angle and we can find those as the <coughs> only variable of x can be found so i can write that as 186 minus 4x whole degree plus 34 degree is equal to 6 degree and in gentlemen i can write 186 degree minus 4 x degree plus 34 degree is equal to 6 x degree now 186 degree plus 34 degree is equal to 6x degree plus 4x degree rearranging we will get 10x degree is equal to 220 degree and this will give us the value as 22 degree so x value we have found and keep this in mind ladies and gentlemen then we are going to solve question number the uh, uh, one part y so if we are giving a closer look to the values of this we can find it from a straight line here so from finding here we can say that in uh, and you remember that the sum of all the angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degree so we can find that uh, we can find that uh, the sum of the angle is 6x degree plus 3y degree is equal to 180 degree and because of the adjacent angles on a straight line so using that theorem we can get this now we found the value of x to be 22 degree so we are inserting the value of x and as a result we will get this so 
after that we are going to find that this is 132 degree plus 3y degree is equal to 180 degree now we have to leave this 3y degree on this side and 180 degree minus 132 degree on that side so we will get from this is 48 degree and when we divide it by 3 so we will get 16 degree so the value of y is 16 now the second part is telling us to find the obtuse obtuse a o d a o d obtuse a o d and you must know that obtuse angle is a o and d this is obtuse angle of this a o d so ladies and gentlemen we have to find the value of this and that will be equal to 186 minus 4x whole degree plus 34 degree is equal to what uh, that will be the value of that so we are going to simplify it 186 degree minus 4x degree plus 34 degree now we have to insert the value of this 4x so 186 minus 4 into 22 degree plus 34 degree and after the calculation we will get 98 plus uh, 98 plus 34 degree so we will get that as the 132 degree so we found the value of this to be what we found the value of this obtuse a o d now we have to find the reflex uh, c o e c o e and that is the angle let us first concentrate on the c o e ladies and gentlemen this is c o e but we have to find the reflex which is this one the reflect which is this one so reflex of a o d is 180 because this is a straight line so it means this angle will be 180 and then we have to do what we have to add only this one so we will write reflex c o e is equal to 180 which is a straight line plus 186 minus 4 x whole degree we don't have to include this 34 because this is not in the reflex area so ladies and gentlemen now we have to insert the value of that x which is 20 180 plus 186 degree minus 4 into 22 degree because we found the value of x to be 124 so we are getting 180 degree plus 98 degree if we solve these uh, values so now we will get 278 degree so reflex is the angle which is greater than 180 and less than 360 and you can see from the answer that it is between 180 and 360 
okay ladies and gentlemen that's it for this exercise and now we are turning our focus to another very important topic and that is angles form by two parallel two parallel lines and a transversal transversal this is the topic now let us first understand that what are the parallel lines when two lines lying on the same plane and do not intersect each other they are known as parallel line when there are two lines in the same plane and they are not intersecting each other as long as you are extending it on either side they will never meet it by with one another so they are called parallel line parallel line are always denoted by a single arrow or a double arrow and they will indicate that these two lines are parallel line when another line is cutting the two lines at an angle they are called transversal lines so if this is a and this is b and this is c and this is d so we can say that p and q is a transversal line and there are many angles they can create so let us talk about the angles in fact they are creating three different types of angles one is called alternative angle and we will discuss that in a moment alternative angles and the second one is called corresponding angles so we have to learn these type of angles because uh, all the question in the subsequent exercise is based on these concept the third one is interior angle so ladies and gentlemen alternate angles and corresponding angles and interior angles are the three uh, uh, topics we have to explore before diving into the next exercise let us first about talk about the alternate angle it means that if there are two parallel lines and there are a transversal line we will have to find the alternate angle whenever you are finding the alternate angle keep in mind that you have to find f like shape this is f like shape inside this and we are saying that i am talking first about the corresponding lines for corresponding lines you have to find the f like shape so this angle will be equal to this angle and similarly this angle will also be equal to this angle they are corresponding to the same position inside these parallel line so we can say that this angle and this angle are the same 
if it comes to the parallel line if the scenario is not a parallel line then these are not standing true so keep in mind corresponding lines now next we have to talk about the uh, alternative language uh, alternative angle so in alternative angle you have to find what you have to find the shape of z for example this is a z which i am making in green so it means that this angle will be equal to this angle this angle will be equal to this angle and they are called alternative angle this angle will also be equal to this angle they are also alternate angle keep in mind that for uh corresponding angles you have to find the f shape and for the alternative angle you have to find the z shape ladies and gentlemen the f shape can be like this as well let me make it separate so this is also a flipped one so if it is pointing on this side or on this side in both cases the corresponding angle will yield the same concept so keep in mind this if you are finding z so you can find the one on this side but you can also find the z on the other side as well so you can find like this the z as well on this side then that is a flip one now let us talk about the uh, other type of angle and that is interior angle so for interior angle if there are two lines and there is a traversal line let me tell you that this is ab and this is cd and this is transversal line that is called p and q remember ladies and gentlemen that you have to find the shape c whether in the same direction this one or in this direction as well so the sum of the interior angle is equal to 180 that is the interior angle so i have to write sum of the interior angle is equal to 180 degree remember my these words we well utilize this concept in our exercise so these are the three concept that uh what are the interior angle and what are the exterior angles now we have to come to the a uh, question and the question in exercise we are going to do exercise uh 10b so i am writing exercise 10b which is given on the page number 250 of the book in question number 1 they given us two parallel lines and they denoted these parallel line with this arrow head there are two overhead arrows directing in the same direction and they given us 
two traversal line one is this transversal line and one is this transversal line this is label as a b and this is label as c d this is y z and this is w and x so these are the true traversal line one is p and q and the second one is r and s so this uh, shape is given in the book and in question number one which are the basic level question they are saying uh, remember ladies and gentlemen for parallel line we are using this that a b is parallel to c d because mathematics is the language so everything must have a symbol so for parallel line we are having two pipe symbols so uh, this is the far parallel line in book they are saying in the figure a b is parallel to c d that is very important less down number one two parallel two pair of equal corresponding angles so we have to find two pair of equal corresponding angles ladies and gentlemen we are now finding whatever we learned in the theoretical portion before this uh, exercise that what are the corresponding angles we have to find first the f shape so here we can find the f shape in this particular format and that is this one and this one you can also find this one as well so this angle will be equal to this angle and similarly this angle will be equal to this angle so we are finding the two uh, pair of corresponding lines in the form of this so let me first say that we are having q y and d angle q y d and the second one is b w q angle b w q which is this one b w and q this angle and this one angle is what they are a d y q ya q y d which i wrote so this this is one pair now the second pair we have to find in this one in this area we are finding it so ladies and gentlemen the second pair is s z d or d z s angle d z s and the next one is b x s b x s this is the two pairs of corresponding angles now in the second part they are saying two pairs of equal alternate angles two pair of equal alternate angle 
so we learn that whenever we are finding the alternate angles we have to find the shape z so here we can find this is the z shape and also this is the z shape or you can also utilize a flip z as well that is a flip one so whatever you want this angle will be equal to this angle because when we are talking about the z it means that this and this angle there are only two angles and if we are finding it in the flip manner then this angle and this angle are equal so in the first case we can write angle a w q and c and the second one is d uh, y p d angle d y p are equal now in the second case which is in this area we can find this one which is a flipped one and we can say b x s b x s and angle the second one is this angle so that is c z uh, r c z r so these are the corresponding angles now in the third part they are saying that find the uh, two pair of interior angle so i am simply writing interior angles uh, we have to find the interior angles so let me uh, uh, say that we have to find the c so let me change the color so that you will understand this is the c and this one is the flip c so in both cases you can find and here i am finding the value of first interior angle which is this one a w q angle a w q and c w p angle c w p this is the interior angle now in this case this angle and this angle first i am writing b x s the second one is b x s and angle d z r d z r these are the corresponding the interior angles whose sum must always be equal to uh, 180 degree now let us do another part and that is the let me first make this roughly again these are the parallel line and one transversal line is in this direction and the second transversal line is in this direction i'm labeling it again a b c d x this one is x this one is w this one is y and this one is z uh, ladies and gentlemen the question in part number b is saying b w q angle is equal to a x r now 
they are saying that whether they are equal or not so if they are equal give you give the reason if they are not equal also give the reason so let us say first we have to find b w q b w q is this angle and a x r a x and this is a x and uh, this is r r is this one this is p this is q and this is s so they are saying whether this angle is equal to this angle you can say that they are alternative angle but no because this line and this line are not parallel lines so alternate angles only giving us in the concept of parallel line so no they are not equal to uh my answer is no because uh p q line and r s lines are not parallel and these concept are only can be applied on pair if this line was parallel to this line then it was correct but in this case the two lines are not parallel so alternate angle cannot be achieved in this manner so it is not the correct answer now c part is saying that whether d y p and angle c z r they are equal to 180 degree the question is saying this so let us first understand that where d y p and then we will create our verdict so d y p this is d and y and p so it means they are talking about this angle this angle is equal to c z r c z and that is r they are talking about this angle so whenever you are seeing internal angles you must have to see the parallel line concept because these lines p q are not parallel so my answer is no and my reason is that p q and r s lines are not parallel are not parallel so we are saying that uh, uh, they are not equal to 180 because we learned that interior angles the sum of interior angles are always equal to 180 but in this case it is not because the lines are not parallel okay ladies and gentlemen uh, do practice on it. Thank you very much for watching. Allah Hafiz.